Max is the math whiz at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his parents. Maybe you could go check on them. Tasty beverage. I have a real beauty I might be willing to part with uh, for the right price. Sorry. Yeah. Max's parents live in the penthouse suite of the tallest tower. Those Fizco execs make a lot of money, you know. Well, there might be a product recall on their latest drink. I'm just saying, I'm sure that can't help the stock price. You'd think, right? But nobody on the outside knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Oh, of course they have a panic room. I had an entire panic apartment. It just looked like my normal apartment, but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. Yeah, I'm here at the fancy town tower. Could have given me a heads up that this place was crawling with scabs. How would I know? I'm practically a shut-in after Horror Night. Although, it makes sense. Once you secure the bottom floor, you have all that living space above you. I need to get high. Err. If only I could find a way to get to the higher floors, is what I meant. Of course. This'll work. Thank you very much. Dead end. Fiery explosive ragdoll death eased my senses. Uh. Uh, that barricade doesn't look too solid. That's scab ingenuity for you. I'm sure I can bring it down somehow. explosive barrels hidden behind the barricade. How irresponsible. And convenient. 
Okay, it doesn't look too solid. That's scab ingenuity for you. Sure I can bring it down somehow. Are those explosive barrels hidden behind the barricade? How <laughs> irresponsible. Can't. Making me start at the bottom. Puzzling puzzle. Hey, you're killing a lot of people. Don't worry, I won't tell. As long as you drink some overcharge. <laughs> I could use some ammo. makes perfect. Let's try again. Let's <laughs> go. 
No panic room here. Let's be on the taller tower. Hey, I just talked to your doctor. Bad news, you're gonna die. <laughs> Unless you drink some overcharge right now. Hey, Scabs, I'm coming for you. Jack here. Why don't you stop on by and give yourself an upgrade or two? Fuck it! Die! <laughs> Okay, time to check the panic room. Please don't make me find some weird sex stuff. Voice recorder. Max's parents' dying words? Let's find out. Security breached. Oh, shit. Gotta listen to that voice recording before I head back. Max needs to know what happened to his parents. Found it! Max, if you're hearing this message, then it means you're still alive. Shame. Your mother and I are going to live in the Bahamas, where cashing out your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get a new job. Anyway, uh, best of luck. By the way, have you tried drinking our new overcharged drink yet? I think you'd like it. Well, at least the dick bag left a message. Max is now poor and an orphan. We should probably just tell him his parents were skeletons in a bathtub. Just get back. We'll figure out the least worst thing to tell him. So, Sam, you're sure your friends are going to listen to you now? Sure, I'm sure. Thanks to you, they think I did all this great stuff for them. You're sort of a modern-day Cyrano de Bergerac. I have no idea what that means. Well, of course I'm referencing the play, not the real Cyrano. Whatever. I'll be whoever you need me to be, as long as I get that propeller. His parents are still alive, but they're major assholes. Stole his money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Yes! Freedom! Thanks, Sam. Best news ever!